Everyone loves video games, but nobody likes low FPS. But what if I told you that you could go from 60 FPS to 240 FPS in 15 minutes? Assuming you have more than half a brain cell, you would probably think to yourself that a 4 times FPS boost is impossible, especially off of a single YouTube video. And that's what I thought too. But I wanted to believe that this FPS increase was possible, so I watched every Fortnite optimization video until I got 500 FPS on my gaming laptop. And with all these videos telling us that we can get 1000 FPS on any device, we should be able to get at least half of that on a gaming laptop, right? So this is the gaming laptop that we're going to optimize today. My $800 laptop that I bought about a year ago. And from the dust pile up, you can see that I haven't been using it at all. It has a Ryzen 7 5800H, which performs similarly to a Ryzen 5 5600X. And assuming that you are a normal person, hopefully, you don't really know what that means. Sure, Ryzen 7, 5th gen, you know it's not ancient, and it's not the fastest CPU on the market. So how good is it really? Well, in simple terms, it is very capable of some solid 1080p gaming, but 500 FPS is definitely pushing the boundaries of this processor. And to qualify as a gaming laptop, it has to come with a dedicated GPU, so it also came with a very solid graphics card, the RTX 3060. And this may come as a surprise to you, but the RTX 3060 laptop version actually performs just like the desktop version. In fact, the 3060 is one of the only graphics cards that perform about the same whether you're on laptop or desktop. According to Jair's Tech, the biggest gaming laptop YouTuber, the desktop 3060 only performs about 8% better than the laptop version, which is definitely impressive when a laptop can literally fit inside of the PC. And since this is the laptop that I'm using for school and my optimization videos, I did a full factory reset set to wipe everything so we can optimize it as if it was a brand new computer. I then downloaded everything I needed and hopped straight into Fortnite to see how much FPS we can get with absolutely no optimizations. And I mean 240 FPS looking directly into the sky is not that bad, especially considering that our $20 GPU only got us 60. But this was nowhere near the 500 that we needed to complete this challenge, so right off the bat I was like there's no way we can do this. But I learned this really weird and stupid trick where you just emote into the sky and you gain a whole 100 FPS. And you might be thinking, that's not even close to 500 FPS. There's no way you get 500 FPS just from watching some YouTube tutorials. But it is very possible because just by connecting the laptop to my monitor, I instantly went up to 400 FPS. This works because it connects the RTX 3060 directly to the monitor. So the integrated graphics no longer get in the way. And also the laptop no longer has to power its own screen. So there's more power that goes straight into performance. So then I hopped onto YouTube looking for a video to optimize my my PC and get 500 FPS and theoretically this would be really easy because we're only about 60 FPS off of the goal and we didn't even start getting into the YouTube videos. All we did was emo and connect my laptop to my monitor and add that to the fact that all these videos claim that they can boost our FPS, it shouldn't be that hard to gain that last 60 FPS, right? Well, it took way too many videos to complete this challenge. And who would I trust more than It's Jerrion? He has 1.6 million subscribers, so obviously his optimizations have to boost my FPS, right? We're hitting like 7, 800? Eh, not bad. Yeah, no, that's pretty bad considering that you have a 13900K and an RTX 4090. So right off the bat, I don't know if I can trust his optimizations. He might need mine, honestly. But don't get me wrong, I don't hate It's Jerrion, but if you're trying to improve the performance of your budget computers, don't get it from a guy with the i9 and a 4090 like that's just common sense they could do literally anything and still get more fps than you so why are you listening to them? Are you serious right now? We are going to be looking at some Windows tweaks, optimizing your Epic Games launcher, fixing all your in-game Fortnite settings. Honestly, I'm a bit disappointed in myself because it took me seven whole minutes to realize that I was wasting my time. I am a man on a mission, trying to get 500 FPS on a budget laptop. I was not here to waste my time watching a man fiddle with his file explorer for 20 minutes straight. The most advanced thing that he does in this video is disabling full screen optimizations. And this video is the exact same as the video he posted for season three. So we're going to skip this absolute snooze fest and move on to a YouTuber that actually knows more about optimizing PCs than I do. Because if I kept watching these videos from people who don't know what they're talking about, it would unironically take me days to reach 500 FPS. But I couldn't help it. It's too funny. Let's go watch another one. And just like my drunk uncle, this man is a professional tweaker. And you know it's serious when people are trying to crack his $30 tweaking utility. 
speed. However, downloading tweaks is an extreme risk at times, but I'm hoping that these Trustpilot reviews are just trolls because I don't really want to lose my $800 laptop for no reason. And although I was offered a sponsorship, I rejected it because I wanted to make an honest review on his videos and his tweaking utility. And also, it wouldn't make sense for me to take a sponsorship from him because I also have my own tweaking utility. And right off the bat, it looked like some crazy hacker shit, and there were some pretty advanced optimizations in here. And on top of that, it's a Google Drive download, so it scans for viruses before downloading onto your PC, so you're literally 100% safe no matter what. After doing that for 10 minutes, my only complaint was that there's no uninstall tool. We still had all those apps on the taskbar, but other than that, I had absolutely zero problems. All right, 500 FPS, here we go. Oh, no, 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 this is absolutely tragic. We peaked at 451. And as you can tell from my voice, I was very distressed that I didn't see a certain number on a screen on a monitor of a game that literally doesn't even matter. So yeah, it did take quite a few videos for us to get to the end. This is just like real life, man. As long as we're enjoying the journey, the result will be worth it. 500 FPS? Pfft. Who really needs that? So it's time to go and find another video. And this thumbnail caught my eye. From 165 to 382, we need that. And little did I know, this was actually going to be a great follow-up video for EXM's optimizations because uninstalling bloatware is just so simple that it's overlooked. But if you have a fresh install of Windows like I do, this is the ideal thing that you should be doing. He will return back to 1720 by 1080 as it's by far one of the best resolutions that's not too- I never understood people who say by far and then one of the- By far? one of the best. That's like saying you won a marathon by a huge margin, but the difference was actually two milliseconds. This guy is so lazy he can't even write a script for a video as simple as this. This man never fails to disappoint me, bruh. He managed to stretch three optimizations into an eight minute video, and he does this 84,963 times a week. In eight minutes, he told me to uninstall some apps, apply a power plan, and use stretched res. If you guys actually watch this guy on a daily basis, please find a job. Just put the optimizations in the bag, little bro. So I only did two of the three optimizations that he recommended because I don't like the look of stretch res, and we still managed to peak at 460 FPS. Even though I have a personal hatred towards Code Life's content, his optimizations do work. Even though a lot of his comments are completely aware of how his content is completely useless and a huge waste of time, some of these commenters are on a different level of stupid. This, this guy deserves like a whole different spectrum, bro. How does it make your ping worse? The only thing you did was stretch your screen. Make that make sense. And there's some people on here that don't even understand their own problems. I can't leave games ever since I changed my res. Anyone know why? That has f all to do with the video, bro. Just close the game. You have a Fortnite addiction. Just put the Fortnite in the bag, little beta. Hey, bro. All you gotta do is press Alt F4, but your Fortnite addiction is stopping you from leaving the game. That's too bad for you. We're getting closer, but we still didn't get 500 FPS. So the only sensible course of action is to watch a YouTube Shorts creator. And yeah, you know, YouTube Shorts creators, they make the best, most wholesome quality content. Take a look at this irrefutable proof. What I need you to do is tag three big pickaxe dudes. I want you to tag three dudes with the biggest pickaxe. And if you don't know any, tag yourself. But I need some more big pickaxe dudes in this comment section. What I need you to do is tag three big pickaxe dudes. I want to see all the big pickaxe dudes in the comment section. And if you don't know any big pickaxe dudes, then tag yourself. Not only do YouTube Shorts creators give us great quality content, but they also post a variety of different and unique videos with very unique audios every day. <laughs> Hopefully that was enough proof to prove that YouTube shorts are worse than YouTube pants. So I was not expecting anything out of this one minute video. Bro edited the 200 ping overlay on the top left and a 1000 FPS overlay on the top right, which is all some straight cap and that's on skibbity. This dude doesn't even play on potato graphics. This shit is the f***ing soil, bro. What am I looking at? And I was hitting so many clips like this 40 bomb. 40 bomb? Bro, you got... You got nine kills. And make sure your colorblind is on off at nine. Then go to your brightness and make sure it's at 100. Scroll down till you find 3D resolution and turn it to zero. After that, go to show FPS and make sure it's on off. Dude, if you put your colorblind mode to off and then nine, and then turn up your brightness and put it to zero, the game looks exactly the same except brighter. He said to put the 3D resolution at 0%, but that's just placebo because zero doesn't actually exist, so it just renders out 100%, but if you put it on 1%, it looks like actual poop. This video was some straight gas without the G. This comment is just so funny to me because the video is only a minute long and he still feels like he wasted his time. A couple hours into this challenge, I was getting pretty sick of these optimization videos that provide absolutely zero value, and I wasn't sure that we could hit 500 FPS 
CVS before I fell asleep watching these emotionless YouTubers. So I did what I had to and contacted EXM Tweaks to see if he could send me his premium tweaking utility as he might be the key to completing this challenge. And if it doesn't do shit to my PC, I'm not going to hesitate to roast him. You guys have seen just how ruthless I can get. So EXM, if your app is some hot garbage, I will find you. In game, of course. There are a lot of tweaks in here, so let's just see how long it'll take until I can put all these optimizations onto my laptop. Bang, boom, bang, boom. This is over a hundred optimizations. It took me just about 12 minutes to apply all the optimizations, so I was pretty excited to finally restart my laptop and see if we can finally hit 500 FPS. Okay, my stupid ass somehow managed to disable my Wi-Fi, and then somehow my final recording froze. I don't know how this could possibly happen, and I also don't know why I have camera footage of this but we managed to peak at 478 FPS. And if you look at the top right here, we surprisingly completed the challenge. Look at this, we went all the way up to 530. And as you could probably expect, in-game it's a different story. It's more like a stable 165 to 180 you're not going to get this much FPS off of an $800 laptop. That's just not going to happen. But if you want to see me optimize and overclock my $20 GPU until I get 240 FPS, check out this video next.